Hey guys, David here and welcome to another endurance laser video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make these really awesome metallic business cards. They're made out of really cheap stock that you can get on eBay for like 8 bucks for 50 pieces and it comes in different colors. What it is, is just a thin piece of steel and it is coated with paint on either side. And then using the laser you can etch away that paint and get a really cool look. Let's first take a look inside of Lightburn, how I programmed this. So here we are in Lightburn, my preferred software uh, for the creation of cheat code for the laser engraver. And you can see here I've created some outlines here for up to four uh, business cards here. These are just to locate them later. I'm gonna engrave that onto a piece of wood underneath. And that does uh, just some like random settings uh, for engraving on wood. But the actual business card here, this image, I made sure to export a very high resolution image so that I, I get perfect lines. You can also use a vector file that would be even better. And the settings that I settled on uh, that work quite well uh, on the black uh, cards that I got are 700 millimeters a minute, anything more than that, and it's just uh, not really worth it since it's not getting up to speed, and power at 70%. If you go in here, uh, it is in threshold mode, uh, instead of like grayscale or anything else, that just makes sure that it's only engraving uh, the black parts. If you want to create the opposite and have everything else removed and the black parts uh, be the stuff that remains, you can click here on negative image. Save G-code here and that's it. You can see here that I already burned in the lines here uh, to locate the cards. So I'm just going to place one card in here and trying to reach around the camera and position it. The more accurate you get this position, the more accurate is going to be your the card that comes out. Since I still have the zero point from the outline that I ju just uh, engraved, I can just click start on the interface and we can engrave on the card. So this is how the card looks uh, right after lasering it and there still is some residue on it so if you use a paper towel or something you can wipe it off and you really see the metal shine underneath uh, the paint. And of course you can also do the opposite and have all the background removed and just leave the font and all the designs that you want. This highlights even more uh, how it actually is a metal card and not just uh, something plastic. I think this is probably the, the one that looks the best. You just have to make sure that you make your design a little bit larger than the card so that it actually uh, goes over all the edges and doesn't leave any borders. 